Ahoy, me mateys! CGI can be a very helpful tool to make the impossible possible on the big screen. But like any good thing, too much of it is a bad thing. And there are many cases where just a simple, old-fashioned, practical effect is a better choice. Plus, as computer graphics are always propelling forward, it might not take very long for the CGI effects to look pretty dated. Just look at the Scorpion King from The Mummy Returns. But one great example of a CGI character that has stood the test of time is Davy Jones from the Pirates of the Caribbean. Life is cruel. Now I love this character. He first appeared in Dead Man's Chest back in 2006, and that was 16 years ago. If you remember in The Black Pearl, which was a few years prior in 2003, we had um, the pirate skeletons, and they don't really hold up quite as well. So the jump from them to Davy Jones is pretty darn impressive. I cannot be summoned like some mongrel pup. Now Davy Jones was animated by the talented folks at ILM, Industrial Light and Magic. Same group of people that have worked on many, many films, most notably Star Wars. If you look at behind the scenes footage of the actor Bill Nye playing Davy Jones, you'll notice he's got some makeup around his eyes and his mouth. And that was there as a backup, particularly with the eyes, in case they couldn't get the eyes to look right with the CG overlay, they were gonna go ahead and use his original eyes, but it ended up working so well that they didn't need to do that. And fun fact, the base texture for Davy Jones's face was made from a coffee-stained styrofoam cup that someone at ILM found in the trash can. They took a photo scan of it, painted it onto the textures, and it just really made everything work. So you never know what regular household items you might find lying around that could make for a great texture or a great sound effect. That's a real great example of thinking outside the box. Now Bill Nye talks about how he had to wear these gray pajamas with ping pong balls attached all over him and he's playing this intimidating, terrifying octopus pirate man. But again, he's in pajamas and everybody else is wearing these elaborate pirate costumes and it's just like it's a it's i'm sure it was a real challenge i think for all of the actors to visualize what he was going to look like in the end but let me tell you even with all of the fancy visual effects going on it's bill nye's outstanding performance both physically and vocally that really is the core of the character and without that you don't have davy jones and let this day be cast by we who ready to wait and one element of the CG that I think is so effective that helps really just give him a lot of life and movement is actually the movement of his tentacles and they created a special simulation for it just to get those physics just right. I believe in puppetry it's known as indirect movement. You think about a puppet that's got maybe some spiky hair or something that's an extension of the puppet that moves in response to the movement of the character and creates this additional movement that just adds some complexity and interest when you're looking at the character. And the tentacles on Davy Jones' face, the way that they move in response to his movements, the way that they have physics and gravity, I think that that really adds a lot and I think that it's it's so well done. It holds up really well. I think my my favorite shot is whenever Davy Jones takes the Dutchman under the water. Just the way the water's splashing up on everything and just all of the layers of visual effects going on in that shot. It's just like, it's an awesome moment. And this is definitely the type of thing where I don't know if there would be a good practical way to do this. I think that CGI is a great choice for this character. They even utilized new technology at the time with the motion capture where they don't even have to have the actor in a separate studio. They could film the actor on set with the lighting and setup just as it normally is, and they could overlay the CGI on top of that. That's great. That really makes directing it a lot easier. Motion capture really does have a lot of great uses. If you're not careful, it does go into that uncanny valley. You do think about some of those Robert Zemeckis movies where they really go for that full like CGI human look. And it's hard when you do a human character, it's it, it can age so quickly because humans are really difficult to do we see humans all the time our brains are real picky about little details when it comes to 
human beings. And I still enjoy those films, of course, I think that they're charming. And, you know, I look at it from the lens of the technology of that time. But I think that Davy Jones being so unhuman of a character really worked uh, to their benefit. And it's a great use of motion capture. And the ultimate question is when you watch it, does the effect break your immersion with the film? Or do you start to believe that that character is just really standing there talking and is alive? And I think it's clearly the latter for Davy Jones. And as a CG nerd, it's incredible to watch and uh, just fantastic work by ILM. That's an example of great CGI. And there are many other examples out there as well as examples of bad CGI. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to check out some others with me. And thank you mateys for joining me on this very piratey adventure today. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Keep making great stuff. And I'll see you all in the next video.